Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm going to be recreating a look that my friend sent me. She was going to an event, so she showed me the picture and I was like, hmm, let me try to recreate it since I haven't uploaded my channel. So, hi, welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm Jacqueline Nimosa and this is my beauty channel. And I want to incorporate DIYs and baking videos as well, not just makeup videos. And yeah. So thank you all for watching and I'm sorry that noise in the background was my TV. I just realized that I wasn't going to be doing a voiceover so I needed to like put it, put the top, pause, you know. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. I'm not going to be doing my brows today. I'm just going to focus on the eye look. With that being said, I'm not going to put any foundation or anything on. So as you can see here, I took the Too Faced 24 Hour Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer on my eyelids and under my eyelids and in my inner corners. And this eye primer has really worked wonders for me. Always let your eyelids breathe before putting on eyeshadow because that way it won't crease and it won't get all clumpy. This is my This is it right now. So I am taking a crease brush and I'm accessing, I am not accessing, I am tapping away the excess powder as you can see and I'm showing you the Morphe palette, it's the 24 Grand Glam palette. I'm going to be using this auburn looking color in my eyelids. And what you want to do is you want to take it from the outside inward, not from the inner corner to the outer corner because I noticed that when you take it out and in like that, it's much easier. As you can see here, I'm taking the same eyeshadow color, tapping away the dust, not the dust, the excess eyeshadow and blending away on the other corner of my eye because, you know, we want this look to look very OG and look very good and look very good and opaque and similar to each other. We don't want one eye looking like trash and the other one looking really good, you know, so yeah. Now taking the 24 again, Grand Glam Morphe palette yet Grand again, palette. I am going to this be... color right here, and I'm going to be blending that. Oh, I sorry, 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 I sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm face. sorry. Now taking a pencil brush like this, I'm going to be dipping in own color from this palette that I got for Christmas about two years ago. And yes, I know, two years ago, it's eyeshadows. I still use it. If they're not crusty, I'm going to still use them. So I'm going to blend it there on my outer V and bring it into my inner corner, like so.
I'm going to be taking the same palette and dipping into this shade right here and blending in my inner corner and my crease. Now I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Brushed Copper and it's number 57029 and I'm going to be putting that all over my lid and usually I, some certain girls they put eye colors like this all over their lid or like only on half of it but I tend to put it all over my lid because I really want the color to pop and I want everyone to know what I'm wearing and what color it is and how good it looks. Best part is yet to come. I'm going to take my tape off. Oh, look at that clean, fresh line. I just love the way that looks. I really like the way this look came together, and I hope you all will follow this tutorial and do this as well. Now I'm just looking for mascara to put on. This mascara is the, by The Color Workshop and I got this in a pack for Christmas but it's not that volumizing for my lashes and I have really straight lashes so I want something that's going to volumize my lashes. So I just ended up using the Estee Lauder Black Mascara. It is the Sumptuous Knockout Defining Lift and Fan Mascara. And honestly, this is really good. I don't know how much this is because my mom got this from Sephora with her points. So, I don't know how much it is, but I know it's very good and it works for me. Now I'm just going back with the brush and I am blending away anything that I think needs to be blended. Alright guys, so this is the completed look. I actually really like the way it came out. I used to, in the beginning when I started doing makeup, I used to use tape right here. And I, I stopped because my mom was telling me, why are you going to be using that look quick? But I, I stopped because of what she said, but you know what? I'm gonna start using it again because I really like the way it looks. I didn't cut my lashes, so my lashes are very straight, and I usually always wear falsies, so yeah. This is how this look came together, and I used three palettes. Alright, guys, that concludes my video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a good day. And don't forget, to, or night, wherever you are, don't forget to please like and subscribe to this video. Bye. Now taking the 24 Grand Glam Morphe palette yet again, I am going to be... Oh, I, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry.